Well, an Iowa man tonight celebrating a major victory in his battle with COVID-19. He is back home tonight, but not after a long and very difficult journey. Local 5's John Diaz shows us what made today's homecoming so special. It's been a long seven months for the Van Gundys. He got put on a ventilator. A husband and father of four from Martinsdale. It really was a scary time. Fighting for his life. He had um, a hole in his lung. Brian was admitted to the hospital with COVID back in 2021. His wife, Kimberly, by his side. I stayed all day, every day for um, many, many days. Daughter Olivia facing a grim possibility. You see, at one point, Brian didn't even recognize her. The main thing I was worried about was how he was going to come out after, if he was going to come out after. But on Wednesday, the Van Gundys winning an important battle. Brian heading home after 204 days in the hospital. Yeah, Brian. A smile shining bright through the mask and fist bumps all around. He's a miracle. He's went through it. Studies along with CDC data showing average hospital stays for patients with COVID less than 10 days. People have just really wrapped themselves around us and loved us as a family. It's been really incredible. From their church family to friends in school, the family says a community came together. My school actually did a whole Van Gundy Strong Week. They sold um, shirts, they sold bracelets, they did fundraising. It was, it's a really amazing community. And it couldn't come at a more perfect time. Olivia turning 15 on Thursday. That is the first thing that he gets to come home to, so pretty exciting. Brian is now at home. Meanwhile, Max, the family dog, couldn't even wait for him to get out of the car. We've all grown closer to God through this and kind of getting our priorities back in order. And back to the things the family loves. The one thing that he said is he wants to take a road trip around the United States. He's really wanting to get back into what he used to do a lot. Kimberly says he's even eager to get back to work. With Brian's determination that we'll get back to being able to do things and he's very, very motivated, very strong person. I would say indeed how heartwarming to see his recovery here, Absolutely. able to leave the hospital like that, but you can tell he still needs some help. So, so what's next for Brian? Yeah, so he's still recovering. He still uh, needs oxygen. I chatted with him a little bit and he is just really looking forward to getting home and relaxing, which is not surprising because all of what you saw, all of those folks who were there, that was a surprise to him. He didn't know that was happening, so it was a, an eventful day for him. It had to be very emotional for Absolutely, him. Absolutely, yeah. But being home has got to feel great. Exactly. Wonderful story, John. Thank you.